Hey everyone, so I'm just going to do a quick demonstration of the demo provided by the Silicon Labs Thunderbolt Sense kit. Thanks to Silicon Labs for sending it. Alright, so this is a Thunderbolt Sense kit. Alright, so it's already plugged into the computer, but it does have a CR2032 battery slot for lithium. Yeah, there's a coin cell slot and one is included uh, so it doesn't have to be used with a USB cable and uh, also it doesn't come with this case this is just a thumbtack case that uh, stuck it in for safekeeping anyway, so it comes with an app which it communicates with a near phone or tablet using Bluetooth So now it's going to try and pair. Okay, hold on. Okay. I'm just starting out a little pairing issue. If you do a time it right, sometimes it needs a little trouble. This tablet is deteriorating, I guess, I'm not sure. I've been having issues pairing recently. Okay, gonna have to try again. Okay, good. Alright, so. This enables me to, to give you a quick overview. The Thunderbird Sense comes with a variety of sensors. Six. Um, one is their environmental as well as uh, um, yeah, primarily environmental sensors. But there's a motion sensor as well. So it can sense humidity, temperature, light levels. Uh, sound levels, that kind of thing. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see the sensors properly, but yeah, they're integrated into the board. Anyway, um, right, so let me just go to the I.O. section and turn on the LED demos. So, there are two. There's one 10 LED. You might not be able to see it in this video, but I can change the color of it using these. Right, so let me just Okay, that's not too bad. Right. Okay. And there are four high brightness RGB LEDs as well. Let me just turn them on using this. Right. Mm -hmm. So I can show you the brightness of them. And uh, also the color. Now RGB LEDs work is they have um, an RGB LED is a, is a little package, you can call it an LED, but because that's how most LEDs are made these days, tiny packages with even smaller, sometimes almost microscopic LEDs built into them. So these LEDs contain three tiny LEDs built in. One is red, one is green, and one is blue, hence the name RGB. It varies the brightness of each LED independently to enable me to vary the color easily. Right. So yes. Um Okay, um let me Oh there's more at the bottom, right. Mm -hmm. Right, so the RGB Hey, brightness LEDs will only come on if you're connected to USB or another external power source because the tiny coin cell can power these LEDs. Alright, so there's an environment sensor. Alright, let's give it a little time. Sorry if, if you can't see. Um, oh, oh. 
we turn it on the brightness of hell, put it on. Yeah, maybe. Can you see it here for sure? It also has a stream to cloud feature, which enables me to stream everything to the cloud. So basically, Thunderbirdsense has a variety of communications, peripherals in it, including Bluetooth, Low Energy, Zigbee, and Thread. But uh, these examples use uh, Bluetooth. Well, the example that it's shipped with uses Bluetooth Low Energy to transmit to an Android or iOS phone or tablet, and then the phone or tablet transmits it, the data, to the Silicon Labs Cloud. Right. Now let's demonstrate the motion sensor. Right. So I'm just going to move this other part around a bit. This is very convenient for DIY projects or you know, even if you just want to make something quickly and show it off because there already is already an app that enables you to control the device remotely using Bluetooth so that's convenient and um, it comes with an EFR32 Magnetic Echo 1 wireless system on a ship, which is this, um, I'm going to upload some much better pictures though, so you'll be able to see it there, and at the back uh, there's a EFM32 Jang Echo, there, mm -hmm. hmm, so this video is intended to be a quick demonstration, so I won't be long, thanks for watching.